Oh, what did I get in the mail today, huh? Let's see what I got in the mail today. What is this? What is this? No, I, I, I bought this, okay? I ordered it. What is it? What is this? Ha! Ha! <laughs> Why'd I buy this? Why'd I buy another one of these? You're let e All right, uh, okay, so, uh, what is, who's that nomad? It's, uh, oh, we don't have the map anymore. He lives, he has a house there in Illinois. Uh, let's see, so he buys, he says that he got a, a Class B Coachman Van Tour vehicle. <clears throat> it looks kind of like Camper Elvis's, same kind of, you know, Camper Elvis, remember him? Kind of the same coloring. Uh, anyway, he's uh, living in a van now, so. It's back to the van. So he's got the Class A that I think has fallen apart, right? It needs a lot of work. Whatever. And he's making payments on that by here, pay now. Ah! And he's got the smart car, and he's got a bike, and now he's got a van. So that's four vehicles. Count them. How many of you guys got four vehicles? And then he's got the house. Uh, he's making the rental payments on NASA, I guess, rent to buy, whatever. He's got the arcade games, the Mickey dolls, and, uh, and, uh, so anyway. Uh, you know, if you're on his Patreon, and we don't, you know, want to reveal what he puts on his Patreon, but a lot of people send me stuff about what he says on his Patreon. This was purchased a good time ago, and now his videos are catching up with that. So, uh, so that's that. So you can check it out. Class, so, you know, I guess, I guess he's going to be parking the Class A more and uh, driving around in the, um, in the van. You know, it makes sense, you know, van is more, you can, you can, you know, a van is, you know, you can drive it more places, you can park it in regular parking places, it's easier to, you know, boondock in it and stealth camp and all that other stuff and it's, you know, a lot less of a hassle than all the different systems on a Class A, so it certainly makes some sense there. Ah, we were talking about the, uh, the, uh, the, the schoolie up, the schoolie, you, the schoolie up thing, the schoolie up, schoolie up Michigan thing, up a peninsula Michigan. Uh, we hear now, let's see, we have, we had, um, we hear that, uh, of course, Aja and John are there, pandemonium, and we do have, uh, Dana and Steve, um, um, uh, a full tiny house. We've also heard from our sources, Dave's RV life might be there. So uh, there, there's quite a group of people. So it's nice to see. I guess we haven't seen anything from Dave's RV life, but and, and we don't want to, you know, we've heard from sources that Dave's RV life is there. So that means that he's actually taken Bella and probably in his van, right? And uh, headed up there because I don't think uh, Bella or what is it? Bella the Bound, Betty the, Betty the Bounder, Bella, Betty Bounder, I'm getting all these, Betty the Bounder is, um, you know, down for the count with some transmission issues, so, I don't know, we're getting quite a nice little gathering up there at, um, the, um, the, um, schoolie up Michigan thingy gathering, so, you know, you know, up there, we need to get Dave 2D over there, you know, he's, he lives, just lives down the road, right? North Star Traveler, we, that he's the one who uh, shot the video of the uh, being out there at the schoolie uh, group, and he is now camping alongside the shores of Lake Michigan. So we got to see him, meet him. Uh, when was that last year when he passed through Morganton, North Carolina? He's from Minnesota and has a real nice van set up there and uh, beautiful, beautiful. You know, again, you know, summertime in the Upper Peninsula, Michigan, we, and if the weather does cooperate, like it looks like it's doing now, it is just really gorgeous. And uh, so, yeah, so that's a nice place to be. And I really think that Dave 2D, Dave 2D needs to get out of the house once in a while and, and travel some of the, he's got a beautiful area right in his backyard. Look at that. Ain't that gorgeous? Get out of, get out of your house, Dave. Get out of your house. Do something. As a kid, you know, you're sitting in the house on a beautiful summer day and your dad would come down and go, get out of the house! What's sitting around there? Go out and play! Go out and play. <laughs> uh, Nikki Delventhal, easy no-build car camper conversion, okay. But yeah, you know, you're in your car, you know, you know, just uh, get some shelves, get a nice little bed, jam it in back there and everything will be cool, right? Oh, yeah! Hey! Let's do some ladders, shall we? Most old schoolies are crap, says Open Land Sydney. School buses have been drove. 
stop and go two times a day for 180 days a year. The only school buses that are any good are the Diesel Pusher by Bluebird. And didn't we hear that uh, that was one of the vehicles that Camper Kenny wanted to get, but didn't get one? I don't know, man. He'll probably get one after he fixes his current uh, vehicle up. He'll end up buying, get rid of this and get that, and then he'll have to do the solar panels and everything else. So, <laughs> wow. A Sammy says, please, Dave, love your videos, but pretty, 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 please, enough of Morgan. You know, again, what we'll do is I'll, we'll, we'll, do only, we'll put only Morgan in some of the videos, Morgan Paloozas, and then if you don't want to watch those, and then every other video will have everything but Morgan in it. Why don't we do that for a while? Morgan only videos, so you don't want to watch Morgan, just skip those videos and uh, watch all my other videos. We'll do that for a while. That's a good idea. Again, as Johnny Rose says, oh my God, this channel, my channel has completely jumped the shark. The nonstop Morgan videos and now posting reruns. Seriously. But hey, you know, uh, it was a nice Thursday. We wanted to just show you some nice, peaceful stuff. And I posted a, uh, you know, again, a rerun video of me and Crotchy in the pool from two years ago. You know, I mean, you know, I post uh, three or four videos a day and you're not, there is no requirement to watch everything. You don't have to, okay? So if the video they like, don't watch it. <laughs> Please, Johnny, don't go. Uh, and Johnny Rose also says YouTube is not real life and get getting worked up over YouTube characters is a bit goofy, don't you think? However, they are real people and there is some reality in everything they do. It's also strange to think that we know whether they are a good or bad person based on a 15 minute video a few times a week. It's just like with sports, if it weren't for the fans, aka fanatics, the, the athletes would not make the money that they do. Sports isn't real life either, but people get pretty worked up when their team wins or loses a game. And the casual viewers don't pay the bills the YouTube fanatics do. Again, that's also true in real life. I mean, sports, you know, your team wins the Super Bowl and for one day you feel great and then back to regular reality. You know what I'm saying? Uh, again, you can't tell what people are really like based on what they're posting on YouTube. We've learned that long ago. A lot of people, they're just doing it for the money. They realize that if they're a sympathetic crybaby, they'll make more money. So that's who they are on YouTube. I don't want to mention any particular names, but you probably know who I'm talking about. Doctor says, what is better, having a giant rocket that looks like a you-know-what or having a you-know-what that looks like a giant rocket? Inquiring minds want to know. We're having a pickle that looks like a rocket. <laughs> Sheep72 says, on an unrelated topic, uh, it appears that Adam, Adam the Woo, I guess it is, is doing a lot of more, you know, going around doing rest eatery binge things, right? Yeah, followed by probably a diet video. Anyway, a diet series. I don't know, man. Adam has gone from one of my top three channels to the top three most annoying channels I sub to. Again... You know, it's like television. You start liking a show, you watch it a season or two, then you get sick of it, and then you move on. And YouTube is like that. Taylor Rose says, it's amazing with all the YouTubers in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. There are no yet videos, significant amounts of videos yet from the schooly uh, up Michigan, whatever it's called. Uh, I'm thinking there's no or crappy internet. That's probably, but that's probably it. You know, a lot, there's probably not a lot of good internet up there, and so we're not getting a lot of videos about it. You know, it they're probably, but I don't know, man. However, you could you could join Nomad Internet. You know, no, I'm not getting a, I'm not getting money from them, so I'm not going to promote them. But hey, if they want to make a deal with me, I am always listening. Holly Best says that Morgan is hanging out with a carpet bagger there in Western North Carolina. I doubt it. I strongly doubt it. Don't think so. Uh, but you know, hey, uh, I'll keep an open mind. Uh, we were talking about regular car guys uh, driving a test driving a Saab. At one time, our family had three of them. Turbo Saabs, uh, that was by Pinkerton. John Sweet says Turbo Saabs in the 80s were the, the sheets. Yeah. Remember Jerry Seinfeld? Remember in his old show, Seinfeld, he drove, he had a Saab there for a while. Mm -hmm. BW Farmvid says Dan, can't, that's, uh, that's uh, Blue Van Dan, has already painted part of his blue, his bus blue. We did see that. I mean, we showed the bus the other day, and you can see on the back of the bus, it looked like he'd been starting to paint it blue. <laughs> As somebody said in one of my other videos, prison buses are blue, aren't they? Or kind of gray. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> the, put, he should post on the side, Pandalan Reformatory. 
I don't know, man. So Ernest Hemingway says, I like the retro video I posted where Count Gore interviewed me. Whatever happened to him, you still in contact with him? Uh, yeah, there's a guy named Count Gore Duvall. His name is Dick Dizel. He was, uh, he was a, a monster movie host on Channel 20 in Washington for many years. And then eventually they moved on. And he, he went and started a website um, posting all of his you know, movies. It's like what Sven Gulli does on MeTV. And then he moved, I think he moved down to Florida, and I have not heard from Count Gore in many moons, but I, I suppose he's okay. Is, yeah, he's still, he's still around there down in Florida, putting up uh, horror movies and uh, reviews and stuff. Got a, uh, he will be attending the, oh, he's, he's gonna be down in Wil Williamsburg, Virginia, uh, July 31st, which is what, tomorrow at the Doubletree Hotel in Williamsburg. Oh, maybe it's one of my relatives. <laughs> Oh, man. All right. Well, I don't know. If you're in Williamsburg, Virginia, tomorrow and Saturday, or Saturday and Sunday, go check him out at the Double Tree Motel or Hotel in beautiful Williamsburg, Virginia. So, I don't know, man. I almost went to college there. Anyway. All right. Count Gore. Yeah, I'll put a link to my video somewhere down there and you can watch that. I got interviewed by him. That ought to do it for the 30th of... Uh, July 2021, Friday. Don't forget, every Saturday, Saturday, two live streams, 9.30 a.m. Eastern and 7 p.m. Eastern, which are with our, so, blah, 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 which, which is our happy hour slash call-in show. So be there or be square. Thanks for watching, everybody. Vlog under.